the um, medical community in general is accused of is that this is a big conspiracy where we're all making all this money. They use terms like big pharma and and um, and that we're all making a lot of money off of this. And in fact, it's it's really the opposite in that. Um, most primary care physicians offices, the smaller ones, we lose money on every vaccine that we administer. Um, we, we, we have to purchase the vaccines in bulk um, and those, those bills are upwards of ten and twenty thousand dollars at a time. Um, and when we are reimbursed um, by the insurance company, it's usually not to the full dollar value of the vaccine itself. Um, now we do make a little bit of money back on the administration of it because we can we get paid for the for that separately from the insurance company. Um, but the actual dollar for dollar cost of the vaccine themselves, and some vaccines are forty dollars, and some of the vaccines are several hundred dollars each. Um, we don't make back the full amount of money for that. So on each child that we administer vaccines on, we lose money, and we have to make up that money by seeing patients. Um, uh, you know, as many patients a day as we can in order to make up that money, in order to make our costs every day to pay our employees and keep our building up and that kind of stuff. This is the MMR file. Um, I think what's important is that this is a single dose file. So in other words, all of our vaccines, it's one dose, one patient. The only one that we don't do that way is the adult flu because it's just easier to draw it out and it's, it's cheaper that way. Um, but for all the baby vaccines, it's one dose, one patient, one vial. So we draw the dose up and this goes in the trash. We lose money on vaccines every day. We do this because it is the right thing to do to protect children, to protect our community, to protect the rest of us, not because we're making money. And I think that's an important fact for people to know.